to fool by encouraging my dying grandmother to live on. Obligatory this started more than two years ago. I live with my grandmother, my father lives with his own family an hour away. Grandmother fell ill and hid it from all of us. When we found out, she refused to have herself checked and this went on for months as her condition got worse and worse. Any attempts to urge her to get checked would be met with yelling and snapping back, even items being thrown at people, it didn't matter if you were her son or grandson. Eventually she ended up at the point where she couldn't even stand, she told me she wanted to die already. Now this grandmother of mine terrorized me my whole life, she tried kicking my mother and I during my childhood multiple times because she hated my mother, she would instigate fights with me and lie that I hit her or yelled at her siblings and my father. But I felt like I couldn't just watch her wither away, nor did I just want to stand idly and watch my father break down more and more at the thought of losing his mother. So now at her most vulnerable, I cared for her, I moved into her room to watch over her. I urged her to keep living, I told her the family wouldn't want her gone and that she's still strong and can fight it. Long story short after a month she agreed to go to the hospital. It's cancer, we're too late and it's terminal, but they chose to operate anyway and it was a success they removed as much as they could, but nothing could be done with the cancer that has reached her head. The doctors did everything they could and they believe she'll have a few more years to live her life. My dad dedicates the next year of his life to being with her and taking care of her, along with hiring two personal nurses to attend to her other needs as she refuses to allow me or my father bring her to the toilet for example. Fast forward a year later, we find out that she's been talking shit behind my father's back. Soon enough, whenever he's around she badmouths his wife, my parents are now divorced, to his face and openly says that my half-sister isn't her grandchild. This goes on for months more until on my birthday she wakes up, gets out of her room, causes a scene and badmouths my father's wife and daughter to their face. This was the last straw, my father no longer drove over every day to be with her, he still pays for her medicines and nurses but he told me he can't face her anymore, it was too much after everything he's done for her the past year plus. I try to mediate but my grandmother sees no issue. After all, according to her she only badmouthed the wife and kid, not my father. Today her favorite nurse went home to take a one-week vacation, a temporary nurse came in to take her place. She has yelled at both nurses to fug off and leave the room. Both aren't allowed in, she smells like shit because she refuses to let anyone change her diaper and whenever I try to convince her she just yells. As with before, she refuses anyone not female to clean her or take her to the bathroom, I am male. More than 100k plus USD spent the past two years solely on her, that amount of money in my country you could live comfortably for years, two years of trying to give a dying old lady a good last few years, ends up here. With a smelly, angry, spoiled grandmother who refuses to listen to me once again. One who has told my father he can fug off if he wants as long as he keeps paying for her nurses and medication. I'm back on my antidepression meds, and I'm having a thought worse than ending myself. I'm regretting having convinced my grandmother to live, I should have let her die like she wanted. I feel like a complete a-hole for thinking of it, but she's caused endless problems for her nurses, my siblings and I, my parents, her own siblings and many others in these two years.